Good morning everyone. I thought I would start there with the dreamiest video of Tommy. How cute did he look? Just want to snuggle up with him. I am absolutely freezing. Um, I've got ready and put together today because I have a few Zoom meetings so I need to look presentable and all I want to do is jump back into my pyjamas under the covers because it's that cold. It was supposed to snow yesterday and it didn't. It just seems to be prolonging the snow like could it just come get it over and done with and then we can just move on to spring how does that sound it sounds perfect to me i want to get back in that garden <laughs> this is actually my first vlog of 2021 it's good to be back i have to say there's something about talking to you guys on a weekly basis that is just so nice it gives me focus and I always look forward to it. I love hearing from you guys. So thank you so much. I appreciate all of you so, so much. So thank you for being here. I have a busy day, like I mentioned. I have a few meetings to crack on with. One is starting very soon. And I need to plan for a ton of content. It's got quite busy in the past few weeks, which is really, really great. So I need to get my head down and get that done. I also am waiting on a few deliveries which I'm really excited about. It's all vegan, sustainable, plant-based stuff, of course. And I really wanna show you guys. So hopefully that comes. I'm gonna make sure I get it into this vlog. Also, I am speaking on the plant-based panel at the Love and Light Festival this Sunday. So once this video is up, the event would have already finished, but those of you that follow me on Instagram would have known, and hopefully I see you guys there. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I've not been on a panel for a while. Of course, all the events got cancelled last year. So it's nice to feel a little bit of normality come back. But of course, it's over Zoom. So that's a bit odd. Um, I'll just be talking from my house. And obviously, I won't feel that connection with the people there. But I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it is just as good. I'm sure it will be because it's all about energy and we will bring the energy. So I'm going to actually get ready for this meeting because I will be late and then I will jump back and check in with you guys very soon. Really quickly, guys, I'm going to show you what I have on my feet because you're going to see it at some point in the vlog and you've probably already heard them because they're way too big for me. They didn't have my size, so I had to get the size they had, but it's my slipper boots, okay? The cat's out the bag. But what else do you wear in a cold house, in lockdown, when you need to do some work? I can't think of anything better. You can hear them, can't you? It's so annoying. I annoy myself. So I apologise in advance. dark it's got how long was i on that call half an hour and it's got this dark it has literally chucked it down and the sunshine's gone well i'm gonna have to turn on the lights then so you guys can see me that's better so my deliveries haven't arrived yet and i have some time to kill so I wanted to make some granola. It's my double chocolate chip granola. And I thought it would be nice to show you guys how I do it. It's really easy. So I'm gonna pop you up here. God, how annoying are my slippers. <laughs> I wanna take them off, but then I'm just gonna to be too cold. Okay, so this recipe is from my blog. It's a bit of an old recipe, but it is one of my go-tos. It's the raw double chocolate chunky granola recipe. So this is it here. And yes, I still do need to look at my blog, at my own recipes, because I do forget them. So this recipe is so easy. All you need to do is put together dry ingredients in one bowl and the wet ingredients in another bowl, mix them and then pop them together and then mix them in well again. That's it, it's so easy. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So I, I like to get 
a nice big mixing bowl. We got these ones from Italy because they love mixing stuff in big bowls there. So on the blog, you can see I've got the wet ingredients and also the dry ingredients. So it's very clear. So for the dry ingredients, we've got half a cup of mixed seeds. Um, so I use like chia, flax, pumpkin, sunflower, which I've got here. So that's all of them already mixed in there. So I pop that straight in there. Then I've got three cups of oats. So I use buckwheat oats just because I have like a slight allergy to the normal oats. I can eat them, but I just rather not. Three cups straight into the bowl. And then a half cup of mixed crushed nuts. So it's really whatever you've got. Today I've used almonds, walnuts and Brazil nuts. I would usually put hazelnuts in this, but I have none left. It's totally fine, you just use whatever. I used a pestle and mortar just to break them down. You could put them in the food processor as well if you, if you haven't got time or you can't be bothered. So then that goes in there. See how easy this is. And then just half a cup of cacao nibs because it's a chocolate granola. You want all the chocolate you can get. And the cacao nibs just give it a really nice texture. So it gives it that crunch. So that goes in there as well. Then you get a nice big spoon and you just mix that all up. And once that's done, you put it to the side and then we're gonna do the wet ingredients. For the wet ingredients, I'm gonna use a smaller bowl because it's not as much as the dry ingredients. The liquid form is just coconut oil and maple syrup. So that's all you need and then you would flavour it. So with this one it's chocolate so we're going to put in cacao powder. Start with half a cup of coconut oil. You need to heat it so it's liquid form. I don't know if you can see. Pop that in. And then half a cup of maple syrup. Give that a good mix. And then you need to add your cacao powder. So this is the one I get, it's from Buy Whole Foods online. So we bulk buy, so this one you can see is a 500 gram bag, but it's raw, it's cacao with the C-A-C-A, -A, not the C-O, the C-O, C-O one is the bad one. So, you can, and it's organic. So that's the one we get, it's nearly finished, so I need to place another order, but I need half a cup of the cacao powder make it nice and chocolatey. Wearing white and handling cacao powder is just a bad idea. Need to give that all a good mix until it's completely combined. So this takes a little bit of time, but you will get there, but you have to make sure that it's well mixed before the next step. Mm -hmm. got one more ingredient it's Himalayan salt uh, whenever I have chocolate I just like to add a bit of salt it just takes away the bitterness especially because this is pure chocolate so that's a must so I just popped it in here and then give it another good mix and now it's time to combine the two which is why you need a good big spoon. So I'm gonna pour the liquid part into the dry bowl. And then I'm gonna mix this until all the dry ingredients is coated in the wet. And with this one, it's easy because obviously it's chocolate. So whatever's not covered in chocolate is obvious. This is so easy. I don't know why I don't do this more often. It's so delicious. Even when you want a snack, like throughout the day, if you're busy, just having this with some almond milk, it's just perfect. Okay, so you can now see all the dry ingredients is completely covered by the wet ingredients. 
So now it's time to put it in the oven. I've preheated the oven to 160. It needs to be on a low heat just so that it bakes gently. Otherwise you can just burn it. And as expected, I've got chocolate all over me. Perfect. So you just need to line your oven tray with baking paper. And then pour the granola onto the baking tray and obviously spread it out so that it's all evenly spaced out. And then it's ready to be put in the oven. Okay, so that stays in the oven for about 25 minutes. Tommy, are you watching how to make granola? He's just lying around the house. Um, the deliveries came, so in the meantime, while we're waiting for that to bake, I'm gonna head into the living room and unbox this with you. And then once we're done, we can jump back into the kitchen and I'll show you the granola. Okay, so I've put the fire on. So it's nice and cozy because it's freezing in here. And I'm gonna start on these boxes because the granola is baking and we have 20 minutes. I'll get it done in quicker than 20 minutes, but. So the first box is from a brand called Will's Vegan Store. Since we are in our third lockdown and it is the middle of winter um, and I walk a lot outside, obviously that's all we can really do. I really needed some hiking boots and I've never owned a pair of hiking boots in my life, ever, no. So I thought my first pair obviously needed to be vegan and sustainable and I couldn't believe how easy it was to find a really nice pair. I mean, I haven't seen them in real life, I'm about to see them, but from what I saw online, they looked really nice. So I ordered the black hiking boots because when I walk, I mainly wear black, especially in the winter. These look so nice. How nice are they? This is the first pair of shoes I've bought from this brand. They do other shoes, they do smart shoes, they do trainers. So I'm definitely gonna be looking back at their site to see what else they have because these just look so nice. I'll pop them on for you guys so you can see what they look like on, but they have a lace detailing as you can see and they are waterproof these are the black pair like i mentioned but they do come in other colors they are really nice i really like them and they look like you could wash them really easy obviously because they're just going to get so muddy in this weather i've heard from a few people that these are really really comfortable so that was another reason i purchased them because there's nothing like a really uncomfortable pair of walking shoes especially because they're boots i got the higher ones the more ankle ones i think they do lower ones as well but i wanted to wear like chunky socks underneath them um so that they are nice and warm but they feel really well padded inside they just feel like a really well structured boot they're made in italy i think all of their shoes are made in italy so you know it's going to be good if it's made in italy um but yeah so that is my new pair of hiking boots which i'm very excited to use i'm actually going for a walk tomorrow so depending on the weather i may wear these okay so the next thing i wanted to show you guys was a package from watson and wolf now i have their card holder which i love and um, it's obviously cruelty free and vegan it's not actually real leather and they have started to personalize their accessories so when i saw this i had to have it because i am desperate for a travel wallet right now i know we're not traveling but i will be again and i just lose everything in the bottom of my handbag or i'll misplace it or i'll leave it at a table and walk off so i really needed a travel wallet and i got it personalized with my initials i'm not sure if you can see it but it says AP at the bottom, which I thought was really nice. And it's really nice for a gift. I think they're the perfect little present. You can see inside, you've got a zip for any coins or anything you wanna keep secure, which is a must, I think. And then you've got document holders, you've got card holders, you've got 
a money slot and your passport can go in here as well. So you've got everything you need in the one wallet. And they're so beautiful. I've had my card wallet for several years now and it literally looks brand new still. So this will match that nicely. I just hope that I can get use out of this very, very soon. I want to get traveling again. I miss it so much. It's making me a little bit sad, but fingers crossed, I will be on a plane somewhere very soon with this in my hand. The next thing is another pair of shoes. This is another Italian brand. I have to give it up for the um, Italian shoe brands or the brands that are using Italian shoemakers. This brand is an eco-friendly shoe brand. They are called Privato or Privato. They reached out because they wanted to send me a pair of shoes. Now, I fell in love with a certain luxury pair of trainers that I didn't want to buy because they're not sustainable and I'm really, really trying to make an effort to only buy vegan and sustainable fashion brands. So when I saw these shoes, to me, it was the perfect dupe because they look the same. Other than the brand name, for me, they look exactly the same. So these are the shoe. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to wear these until the summer. But how pretty are these? You probably know what luxury brand these look like or I was looking at that these remind me of. But this is them. So it's a slightly platform shoe. You've got the black detailing at the back. They also come in different colors, but I chose the black and white because I like my neutral colors. And then you have branding on the side there, which is very subtle, which I like. And you've also got it there, but it's in a very subtle like silver. So only dependent on the light, you can see it. So it's really nice, nicely done. I'm gonna pop them on for you so you can see them on. I am not gonna to lie to you, I've already put these on because I was so excited when they came through the door and they are beyond comfortable. Like they are cushioned. They're completely cushioned. They're incredibly comfortable. Normally with vegan trainers, they're quite hard and rigid. They feel quite plasticky. These are so soft, like they're like butter. So these are ready to go for the summer. So I can't wait until this weather's over and I can wear these. I will be wearing these all the time and I'll be purchasing another pair so that I've always got a fresh pair. I absolutely love them. I got them in a size six. Again, true to size, I've popped them on. They fit perfectly. I'm honestly so impressed with this brand. It's definitely gonna be like my vegan trainer go-to brand. I can already tell. I've looked, I've briefly looked through the website and there's a lot there I like. Talking about shoes, can you see my slippers? God. So lastly, I wanted to show you guys a package from a brand called Colourful Standard. Now, if you haven't heard of these guys, they've actually got, which it's not actually that helpful right now, seeing as everything's shut, but pre-lockdown and throughout 2020, they were open. They have a pop-up store in central London by Piccadilly Station. So I actually, on one of my walks in London around Christmas, I saw it and I went in and I saw some of their stuff and it is just so lovely. It's again, a sustainable brand. It's all comfy sort of loungewear, tracksuits, t-shirts, and each of the styles come in an array of beautiful colors. So I had to get some bits and I'm still waiting on some bits because obviously delivery time is a little bit all over the place but I really wanted a full tracksuit, especially over lockdown time. You just want a tracksuit, don't you? To wear with everything. So I chose the white one. So this is the crew neck. So I've got the crew neck and the joggers, but the joggers haven't arrived yet. I'll show you them when they do. So this is their organic crew neck. This is the women's one and it's optical white. And I got it in a size medium, just so that it's got that relaxed look. I don't like tracksuits looking that tight. So I'm normally a small, so I sized up to a medium. And what I love about it is inside it's soft because you know, sometimes you can buy these sort of things and it's the same material inside as is out and it can be quite uncomfortable and not so cozy. But this one actually, as you can see, is a soft lining, which is really nice. So I got that and like I mentioned, I'm waiting on the matching joggers. The joggers fit so nicely, they're high-waisted, they relax well around the hips, so it's not too tight. 
honestly, like I can tell already I'm gonna have a few of these in my wardrobe. Then I got a hoodie and I got it in this gorgeous green khaki color. And you can see it's all lovely standard plain clothing, which I love. I hate too much print or branding. It's not my thing. So I love that it's all very subtle. It's amazing quality. And you guys have to go onto the website because you'll just see the amount of colors that they do. Again, it's softly lined inside. It's got your pull cords here. And I got this and I think I got this in a medium. As, oh no, I got this in a small. I think because, yeah, so the hoodies are unisex. So they do come up quite big. So that's the reason I got the small because it fits me like a medium would fit me in a women's. Whereas the crew necks you can choose from like the unisex to men's to women's. So I, in the women's, I got the small. And then lastly, I just got a beanie hat for walking. Um, and I just wanted a pop of color because like I mentioned, the colors this brand does are just so nice. So I just wanted a pop of color. So I ordered this, I don't wanna say pink. It's like a dusty rose, pink color hat for myself for walking. And it is just warm, gives me that pop of color. Like I mentioned, I wear a lot of black. So I have a bit of color to brighten up these dark days. <laughs> so I think that's it. Yep, it is, that's all the boxes done. I'm gonna head into the kitchen and take this hat off because with this on, my turtleneck jumper, my slippers in the fire, I'm starting to burn up. So I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna head back into the kitchen to show you guys the granola. It should be about ready. And then I'm gonna make myself a bowl with some almond milk and have a little bit of a time out. Okay, so this is ready. I'm gonna pull it out. Well, look who's here again, just hanging around the kitchen. Oh, Tommy, it's raining. I know. Tomorrow's a better day. You can go out tomorrow. And I know you're looking at the granola, but you're not allowed to have it, I'm afraid. Oh God, he's really not happy, is he? Okay, so you can see this is done. Would you like some granola? No. That was a no. What would you like? No. Nothing. No. Um, so that's the granola done. As you guys saw, it's so, so easy. I'm going to link the recipe in my description box below so you guys can get it nice and easily and make it for yourselves. I'm going to sit down with a bowl of this now and give Tommy some attention because he's really not a happy boy and end today's vlog here. I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog. I hope that you're all well and I will see you next week. It's goodbye from Tommy as well. Actually, that was a subscribe from Tommy. He said, subscribe to the channel and then he walked out the room. That's all he had to say. <laughs> Bye guys. Mm -hmm.